Well, I think you know, quite a deal, um, quite a bit. I would say that the two areas in which the government can affect IT modernization, um, and I say this because the government, we're the United States of America, and we have federal and civilian and state and local governments. Unlike a, a Verizon, where we're a homogeneous company, now, one could argue we make acquisitions and we're heterogeneous, and that is true. But we have one CIO and one CISO that makes decisions for the company, um, where in the federal government, you really are a heterogeneous um, organization. And so I think that the way in which the overseers of that can make real impact on IT modernization is through policy uh, and is through procurement. Those two really drive the way in which all of these independent agencies must invest and must uh, adapt in order to meet the new needs of, of the government. And, and, the, and the purpose of all of our government is really to protect our, our country and to serve our, our constituents. So if we look at FISMA and we look at FedRAMP, if we look at the TIC, which was in the IT modernization report, those are all policies and standards that they put out, NIST, you know, that allow all of us to say, we're gonna do the same thing because we are very different. USDA has very different data than some of the intel agencies do. Uh, and so that's the way in which the government can sort of dictate out the way in which we need to modernize. And like I said before, procurement is another way. If we look at EIS as a perfect example, this is going to be a way for us to more uh, quickly adapt to the changing environment of IT so that we aren't stuck four or five years behind the commercial sector.